Right here I have this Razorback style tank top dress. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and show you some of its key features and some of the details that I really like about it. So this is what the front of the dress looks like laid out here. You can see it's a little bit more fitted right here at the top and then it kind of has a little bit of an A-line here. It goes out on both sides down here, which I feel like is gonna be really flattering. And then I do wanna point out that at the top right here, this doesn't seem to be super low, which is something that I always look for. I don't like necklines that are all the way up to like the top of my neck where I feel like I'm being choked, I guess. Um, but I don't like them to be so low that you're just kind of showing everything. So I do like that. I'm hoping that will look nice. And then this is that Razorback style, which is where it kind of goes in on both sides. It's perfect if you're wearing a sports bra, for example, that also is that same Razorback style. I do want to note that these armholes, they seem like a really nice size. They aren't like gaping way down where you're going to see your undergarments right here, but they're also not so tight that you don't have like ventilation on a hot day, for example. Honestly, I love outfits that you can dress up and you can kind of put something like a jean jacket and wear some cute sandals or something like that and you can go out in this or you can do some shopping in this or something like that but you can also just be super casual wearing this at home or at the beach or for a picnic just something simple even like gardening or something like that this seems like a comfortable dress that can be adjusted to whatever you need it for i'm gonna go ahead and try this on in a way that i would wear it and i'll show you kind of how it looks like on my body yes all right so i just got this dress on and honestly i feel like i'm really excited about it and I feel like I'm already gonna get a lot of use out of this just because of the way that it's a basic dress that's gonna go with so many different things, which makes me really excited. So I just wanted to start out by referencing approximately my height is five foot seven inches, and I did select an extra large. The only reason that I selected an extra large instead of maybe a large, which maybe I normally would have done, is because I was looking at the length and I just didn't want a super short dress. So I feel like this fit better for the length that I was going for, but you can make your own judgments based on how short or long you would like it for yourself. The extra large for me is the perfect length. It hits just about an inch or so above my knee, but I like how lightweight this dress is. I feel like I'm gonna be able to wear it, honestly, whatever season, I can warm it up in the spring and in the fall with a sweater or something like that. And I can also wear it by itself or with a really light vest or something like that in the summertime. You can see where the neckline is. It's not super high up here by my collarbone, but it's not super low either, which I really like. And you can see about where these straps are on my arm. I feel like that's a nice wide strap. Something that I did forget to mention earlier is that this actually does have pockets. So you can see right here, it has a pocket on both sides, which I think is really fun. And then I'll just step back so you can see about where it hits me as far as length goes. So honestly, I feel like this is how I would wear it. I would just put it with some little sneakers or some flat shoes of some kind and then wear it with something like this jean jacket or something like that. Overall, I think this is very cute and comfortable and I just feel like it can be such a versatile piece. I can already tell that I'm going to get a lot of use out of it.